comes this time each year. All right. Today, my project is to turn some old chicken wire that we were using last year into a giant Santa hat. It's going to be my tree topper for my tower. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, so so far what I've done what I've done is I've taken this section, which is roughly about two feet. I mean, the roll itself is I think two feet tall. So I took a section, and I made the base, a circle. It's kind of hard to see here, but the size I think I wanted it. All right, and I just used uh, when I cut it together. I just used get down here. I just used the end of the wire to tie it together. Obviously, when I get it all done, I'm going to zip tie it down, but. Um, and then I, what I did is, this is the cut where it was initially. I did four cuts. And then I folded it into kind of triangle shapes. Again, I'm going to have to form this and make it, you know, exactly once I start, you know, finalizing it. But this is what I've done so far. And then these are going to go in and be tied together and make that kind of cone shape. The basic shape here almost looks like a giant Hershey kiss. And again, it's still a little you know, not, it's still a little awkward shaped, but, again, you can, this thing, that's the reason I use the chicken wires, because it's, uh, easy to be formed, so, this is the first section, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut off another little piece, to kind of do the top that'll, that'll bend over, <coughs> I just wanted to show you what we've got so far, alright, so here's the piece that we cut off, I don't know, what is it about, it was, uh, almost a foot long, I get the full length. I can cut off the length if it's too much. I'm just going to roll it up. Maybe a little wider at the bottom. And get it a little bit tighter at the top. Should be wearing gloves for this stuff, but I'm not. I'm going to take it here and I'm going to go ahead and just twist it off and maybe I can use this piece here as the ball but we'll do that later so we've got we've got it squeeze a little bit more I want it to be about that big at the bottom here and then I want it to be tapered off a little tighter and a little tighter as we go so I'll just squeeze this part a little bit tighter so and then we're going to just bend it put that bend in it for the top of the Santa hat. And again, it's got to do some fine tuning. But it's going to go right here on top of this. Let me see if I can turn the camera up a little bit. It's going to go right on top of this and have the, the bend in it. Alright, it's beginning to look like a Hershey, too much like a Hershey kiss. So, what we're doing, trying to do here is I, I cut it up another piece and put it on top just to make the the reduction a little bit more gradual and then we're gonna frame this you know sculpt this and then have it bend over and then put our top piece back on the top so let's try it okay I moved it into the porch just because it was cooler let's go on the other side now it's taken me probably about a half hour and a little bit of patience I'm trying to get a good angle on the thing you can kind of see it there we go so this is the best angle and still it's going to take some finagling and it just looks like a pile of wire right now but what I plan on doing is not only wrapping I have a I might even go with another layer of chicken wire around the bottom to make it a little bit thicker I'm going to put white lights and I'm going to put red lights through this whole part and then we put a white light a ball of white lights here at the end for the ball uh, I might even make this a little bit bigger um, before I do that, I'm obviously going to zip strip all the, the pieces together so it stays together. And then I was going to go to Walmart and get some of that cheap garland, really cheap um, 97 cent garland. Hopefully get enough to wrap this so in the daytime it will actually look like a Santa hat as well. And it's going to go and be fastened to the top of the tree. Alright, here it is all wrapped up. I think it's looking pretty good so far. I gotta put some lights on it. This is my next step. Uh, again, it's just chicken wire. And then I went to go went to Walmart and got some uh, 97 uh, 97 cent cheap garland. 
and wrapped it up. I could probably use, uh, I used six, six packages of the red, and I could probably use one more. There's some spaces there, but uh, again, it's going to be 60 feet up in the air, so no, not too many people will be able to see it. So, I'll get some lights on, and I'll come back and show you guys. All right, and here it is, final pro finished product. And what I did down here, uh, I was going to use a set of uh, white wired lights, but uh, I didn't have any. So I used green wired lights for here, and because it's on silver, um, I thought maybe putting the green on top of it would make it, uh, you know, take away the effect. So I took these, uh, what are you saying over there? What? Okay. Uh, so I took the white lights and I pushed them through the back and then I tied them in through the back so all you see is the bulbs coming out. But the red lights, um, it's on a green wire but you can't really see especially the top of the tower. And then I did have a set of small, um, you know, real short strand white wired white lights or clear lights. So that's what I used up there. So I'm getting ready to climb the tower, put it on there and I'll let you see what it looks like from up there. Alright, the sun is just set top of my tower, almost to the top of my tower. That's kind of the view from up here. Let me go up a little. There you go. And here is the, the hatch. The real reason I'm up here. I used a bungee cord. We'll see how it works to attach it. Try to get it stayed. I think I got it right. The wind's not bad now and I hope that it'll stay and not fall apart it's it's pretty it's together pretty well so let's hope I'll show you a view from the ground all right and there it is at the top of the tower I think it looks better in person than it does in the video but we're gonna get the tree up this weekend and the rest of the lights so it's gonna be the tree topper a little different and that's how it is. That's how it looks. Hope you guys enjoy.